Hey guys, this is Source Lab by Initial Audio. Welcome to the deep dive. Source Lab has three main pages the preset browser, the MIDI sequencer, and the lab page. Here you will find the sound sources, filter and routing, as well as the effect racks. Let's start with the preset browser. On the left side, we have the libraries, then the categories, and the presets. Beneath the preset browser, you will find genre tags, and on the right side, style tags. So if we want to filter the factory library, all presets for a hip hop lead, this is a way to do it. SourceLab will now filter all presets that could match this combination of genre and style tag. Then at the bottom, we will find a simplified view of the six sound sources, since every preset in SourceLab could be made out of multiple sound layers. You will be able to adjust certain parameters of these layers here, octave panorama gain. You can do that a way more advanced way on the lab page, but this is more for the sound designers that know what they are doing. For producers that just want to browse sounds quickly and maybe want to make some quick adjustments, this is a way to do it. And then at the bottom, we have the macro controls. SourceLab offers up to six macro controls per preset, and these macros can be connected to basically anything. It could be the wavetable position, frequency modulation amount, reverb mix, delay mix, whatever. This is a nice way to quickly adjust some effects without having to go all the way to the effect racks. Macro background images can be saved per preset. You can also set up a permanent background image or select from one of these animated backgrounds. And at the bottom, we have the keys with polyphony settings, mono, poly up to 48, polyglide, always glide, glide time parameter. And this represents our pitch wheel and mod wheel. If the mod wheel is not connected to anything, it will be grayed out. So if we pick a preset where the mod wheel actually does something, the mod wheel is visible. At the top, we will find a second preset browser, which shows us the categories and presets of the library we have selected at the moment. This is useful if you are on another page and want to change presets. You can do that here. You can use these previous next buttons. Then we will also find some quick parameters for our master envelope, attack, hold, decay, sustain, release. Useful if we want to change the envelope of an instrument without having to go to the lab page where we have some more controls of the master envelope such as envelope curves and so on. Right, but still very useful. Master pitch and master gain. Right, maybe useful if you find a loop which is in a certain key and you want to pitch it down by three semitones, you can do that here. And the last element on this page is the menu button at the top left. Here you can override if you made some changes you want to uh, store. You can also save a preset as a new preset, right? Here you can also create your custom libraries, assign bank icons to your custom library, assign macro background images to your custom preset, um, all this good stuff. But let's talk about this later when we make our first custom library and our first custom sounds.
Also, you will find a shortcut to open your preset folder, which brings us to the data folder of Source Lab. And here we will find our macro background images, MIDI files. You can create your own folders in here, place your own MIDI files in here. We will also find preset banks. We can manage the preset folders in here and our wavetable folder. You can adjust the GUI size in percentage here, but you also can seamlessly adjust the GUI size using this bottom right corner. You can change the skin, adjust the wire transparency for the node wires, and activate Source Lab. All right, let's check out some of the presets in Source Lab while paying attention to the sound sources. I think this will give you a better idea what makes Source Lab so special. So you will find things in here like 808s. All right. Um, if we go to the lab page, I mean, we see it right away. This preset is based on a wavetable and a sample. So this preset has two layers. The first layer is a wave table. And the second sound is a attack sound, a kick basically. Next one, this ARP, it's based on a set of multi samples. And these colored dots on the keys tell us right away that this preset has MIDI information in it. We also see that the MIDI sequencer is activated when we load this preset. Let's have a short look at our MIDI sequencer. And here we already see our sequence. And when we trigger one of these keys, we basically play back this MIDI sequence. You can also simply drag the sequences into your door. You just drag it. Boom. There you go. If you prefer working with the melodies this way, drag them into your door or drag them onto your desktop as a file, whatever, right? Next one, this brass preset. This is a set of multi samples. And as you see, we have loop points in here. And you see, it sounds perfect. No clicks, nothing. The benefit here is if you want to create a multi-sample based instrument, let's say you want to record your own saxophone, your own flute or whatever, right? Loop the sustain phase and therefore your multi-sample based instrument will not take up that much hard drive space, right? So this is all about efficiency and on the other hand, you also don't want your instrument to stop after 10 seconds or something, right? Here we have a drum kit. Down here, we can trigger the single drum one shots. And again, these colored dots tell us right away that there's MIDI information in this preset. So if we trigger one of these highlighted keys, It plays back the MIDI. Everything is synced with the door. So if we increase the tempo in our door, nice. Next, let's check out a melody loop. This is a wave loop chopped into a bunch of slices. You can adjust the length of these slices here. Then we have a category for MIDI sequences. Here you will find all kinds of presets. This could be pianos, synth plugs, whatever. Combined with MIDI. Some perk loops. In this case, again, it's one shots combined with MIDI information. In some cases, this may be just a loop. 
so we had sample based instruments, loop based instruments, wavetable based instruments. We had presets with MIDI, we had drums, and we can even combine all of this into one single preset. Every sound source has its own pitch parameter. The global pitch at the top right basically remote controls all of the pitch parameters in all sound sources together. Having everything available in its original form and being able to deconstruct it gives us so much more options. If we, for example, find a preset we like, but you don't like the drums and want to change them, you could basically go into the sequencer, bring in the MIDI into your door or adjust the MIDI directly in Source Lab. You could also mute the MIDI and build the drum kit a completely different way. So you just end up with this. You also can deactivate the loops, deactivate the sequencer and Use the piano itself if you like this piano. So this is what it's all about, right? All these different aspects of sound design. You can work with wavetable oscillators. You can work with samples, with loops, with one shots, drums, MIDI, and save all this as custom presets in your custom libraries and share it with others. This is the idea of SourceLab, making it possible for sound designers to create sound banks that are so versatile and offer so many different things for the user, which I have never seen before. Are you tired? Hunting through endless plugins, searching for the perfect sound? SourceLab has got you covered. Your all-in-one audio sandbox. The only instrument that combines wavetable synthesis, sampling and loop slicing in one easy to use plugin. Over 1,300 presets, 300 wavetables, 600 MIDI files, right at your fingertips. Instant inspiration, just one click away. Six sound sources, infinite combinations, endless possibilities. Do you want full control? Advanced modulators, a six layer MIDI sequencer, granular engine, all designed to fuel creativity. Not limited, dive into Source Lab and try the free demo today.